Hello guys, welcome to Cinema Ultimate. This is the Negotiation Movie Recap. A Korean film released in 2018. This film is directed by Lee Jong Sok, and stars Yoon Bin and Sun Yi Jin. The negotiation tells the story of a reliable negotiator from the Seoul Metro Police, named Ha Chai Yoon. She is a negotiator who is always calm and level-headed. Once Chai Yoon planned to quit because of failed negotiations on a kidnapping case. However, instead of stopping, she has to face another kidnapping case by Min Tae Gu. What's next? Here's the negotiation movie recap. At the beginning of the film, a hostage case scene is shown at a house in Yangji, Seoul. Suddenly a woman came, named Ha Chai Yoon. She is one of America's best graduate inspectors, who is a negotiator agent in the Seoul Metro Police. At that time she was on leave, but she was asked to come by her colleague, named On Hyuk Soo. The members tell Chai Yoon that the situation is deteriorating, where the criminals are two English-speaking Asian men, who are holding a male and female couple hostage. They asked for a helicopter so they could escape from there, or they would kill the hostages. Their captain, Yoon Jun Gu, doesn't speak English. Therefore, Inspector On asked Chai Yoon to come to help them in handling the hostage case. After that, Chai Yoon was ready to negotiate with the criminals. But Captain Young suddenly forbids her and instead asks to send a SWAT team instead. Finally, Chai Yoon asks for 30 minutes to talk to the hostage takers first. Long story short, Chai Yoon was already in the house of the crime scene to negotiate. The hostage taker insisted on asking for a helicopter. However, Chai Yoon demands that one hostage be released first before she talks to her superiors. One of the hostage takers suddenly saw that special forces were already near the house, and they were furious. Chai Yoon tried to calm them down. But Captain Young instead decides the special forces to shoot them immediately. When the special team shot the hostage taker, it turned out that the bullet missed, so the hostage taker was annoyed and immediately killed the male hostage there. Then the special forces fired again until one hostage taker was killed. Then they threw tear gas into the house so they could get inside. However, the other hostage taker instead took the female hostage into the bedroom. When Chai Yun entered the bedroom, it turned out that the female hostage had been slashed in the neck, and died. The scene switches in Bangkok, Thailand, where a Dian reporter named Lee Sang Mok is being chased by several criminals. He tried to escape from there, but he was caught anyway. Back in Seoul, where Captain Young is getting ready to go on a business trip. Inspector On walks up to him, and expresses his frustration at Captain Young for ignoring Chai Yun that time. Then Chai Yun comes in, and hands in her resignation letter. She felt unsuitable for this job. However, Captain Young refuses and postpones the conversation until he returns from his business trip. Three days later, Chai Yun is seen rethinking her work. Then suddenly Inspector On calls her because of an emergency. Inspector On who is already at her door, walks in and asks Chai Yoon to put on her uniform because the Seoul Metro Commissioner wants to see her. When they got there, they went straight into the secret police room and met the police commissioner, Moon Jong Hyuk, and the president's secretary Kong. Then the section chief named Han Young Suk informed them that a video call had come in, and Chai Yoon was immediately asked to answer the video call without direction. Chai Yoon is forced to accept the video call, which turns out to be from a kidnapping group, led by Min Tegu. As they talk, Tegu asks Chai Yun something impolite, so Chai Yun immediately hangs up the video call. In fact, Chai Yun wanted to know the problem first before negotiating. Then Tegu calls her back, but Chai Yun asks them not to answer. Secretary Kong saw that she was immediately angry, and asked her to pick up the video call. Chai Yun accepts Tegu's video call, but she asks him to continue later. Then Chai Yun goes to Secretary Kong to ask for an explanation of this situation. However, Tegu calls them back instead, so the commissioner asks Section Chief Han to answer the video call. Then Tegu shows a hostage, who turns out to be Captain Young. He bullies them by pointing a gun at Captain Young's head. Luckily the gun didn't fire a bullet. It just shows that he's not kidding. Chai Yun who was surprised by his attitude, finally decided to continue her conversation with Tegu. Tegu is annoyed with Chai Yun and asks Chai Yoon to speak the truth during the talks. Chai Yoon agreed. Then Tegu asks who saw them there. Before answering, Chai Yoon asks Tegu to put down his gun first. Then Tegu puts down his gun. Chai Yoon starts mentioning everyone around her, except Secretary Kong, 
because she was asked not to tell him. And then Tegu asks her to talk about it later, because he wants to have lunch. But before that, he allows Chai Yun to talk to Captain Young. Captain Young begs Chai Yun to slowly control this situation. Chai Yun tried to calm his down. Then Tegu hangs up the video call. After that, Section Chief Han explained to Chai Yun and the few people there about this situation. She explains that Tegu is the most wanted criminal in Korea. He is the leader of the international criminal group, who has British citizenship, and is based in Korea. Tegu's group kidnaps several Koreans, and reporter Lee in Bangkok. Then the Korean police send Captain Young to negotiate with Tegu, but he gets kidnapped instead. Secretary Kong looks so worried about this situation, so he sends a joint police military force, SART, to go to the location where Tegu's group is holding the hostages, allegedly on a Malacca Strait Island, Thailand. They will carry out the execution at 10 p.m. there. Chai Yun is given 14 hours to negotiate with Tegu until the police military force gets there. Then Chai Yun gathers her team to find out information about Tegu. Turns out there isn't much information about Tegu, other than he became a British citizen last year, and is an orphan. Shortly after that Tegu called them back. Chai Yun tries to get closer to Tegu, so the situation doesn't get any worse. Then Tegu asks the CEO of DN Daily News to attend. But before that Chai Yun wanted to see Captain Young. It looks like Captain Young has started to lose consciousness because the medicine he has given exceeds the dose. Tegu slaps Captain Young to wake him up. This makes Chai Yun annoyed with Tegu. Then Tegu pressures her to bring CEO Yun right away in one hour. At the golf course, a helicopter arrives to pick up the CEO of DN Daily News, named Yun Dong Hoon. On arrival, Chai Yun asks him to change before taking Tegu's call. Then CEO Yun is ready to talk to Tegu, with Chai Yun's help. In their conversation, Tegu asks for proof that reporter Lee is really a DN Daily News employee. He was asked to name an article that reporter Lee had written. CEO Yun apparently only memorized the contents of the article, without understanding its contents. Tegu grows suspicious when he sees CEO Yun's outfit. Plus the commissioner cuts them off. Tegu finally finds out that reporter Lee isn't Dian's daily news reporter. Tegu gets annoyed. He sues Chai Yun for lying to him, and shooting Captain Young to death. The call was closed. This time Chai Yun is really furious with Commissioner Moon, as she is getting more and more confused about the situation. Then Commissioner Moon expels Chai Yun, and changes the negotiating team. Chai Yun and An went to the car. Then Manager Han followed them. In the car, Manager Han informs them that Reporter Lee is actually an intel sent by Bin to spy on Tegu. It turns out that Tegu is an international arms dealer, who sells all kinds of war necessities to pirates in the Malacca Strait. Until now, no one knows what Tegu really wants. Then Chai Yun met the two members of her team who had just arrived. Chai Yun asks them to find out all about Tegu and his gun sales. Chai Yun thought of a way to deal with it. On the other hand, two bin members start negotiating with Tegu. They mention the fact that Tegu is the owner of Shangri-La Mountain, an arms factory in England. They ask Tegu to release his hostages, and stop selling weapons, so that his past crimes will be wiped out. Tegu refuses, and instead asks to talk to Chai Yun instead. Back to Team Chai Yun, who has started to get a little information about Tegu, where Tegu is a former mercenary, and is currently a weapons supplier. However, they are confused as to how Tegu got weapons from Korea. Chai Yun plans to ask Tegu directly. Inside the secret room, the two bin members are still conferring with Tegu. He showed his new hostage a family, father, mother, and two children. Then Tegu pressures them to bring Chai Yun, otherwise he will kill Lee. He gave them half an hour. Meanwhile, the joint forces have almost arrived at the location where Tae Gun's group is. Chai Yun who had returned to the negotiation room began to insist Secretary Kong to explain the truth. And Chai Yun confirms them that only she can negotiate with Tegu. Then Tegu's video call comes in. Chai Yun talks back to Tegu. She feels guilty for Captain Young's death, because she doesn't know why Tegu did this. Then Tegu moves the mother and two children hostage, leaving only the father and Lee. In the midst of their conversation, Tegu asks the chairman of the company Nine Electrics to attend. He gave one hour to continue their conversation again. Then Chai Yun's team discovers another truth that Tegu is the president of a fictional company called Shangri-La Mountain, and Chairman Ku is its founder. But it turns out that they have a disagreement, which causes Chairman Ku to resign, and Tegu becomes the owner of Shangri-La Mountain. Then Chairman Ku betrays Tegu by leaking his information to Bin, in order to clear his case. 
The scene switches when Secretary Kong enters a room, where there are several people such as Chairman Ku Guan Su, Park In Kyu, Deputy Head of Bin, Sun Jung Tae, Commander of the Air Force, and Huang Yoik, Head of National Security. They are the mastermind behind this problem. There, Huang hopes for this mess to end soon, and Chairman Ko says he'll take care of it. Elsewhere, CEO Yun is seen going on vacation with his family. Soon Inspector On came to inquire. Then On informed Chai Yun that it turned out that the person who asked for reporter Lee's fake identity was the deputy head of Bin, Park In Kyu. That means it's not an ordinary case. In the negotiation room, Chairman Ku is seen already connected to Tegu's video call. He asks Tegu what he really wants. Tegu asks about Shangri-La's Swiss account which has been blocked. Then Chairman Ku said he would sort it out. But his next request took everyone there by surprise. Tegu asks Chairman Ko why he killed Yu Yunju. Chairman Ko replies that he doesn't recognize Yu Yunju. This makes Tegu very upset. Finally he told about Chairman Ko's involvement in a money laundering case. Yu Yunju is the one who works with Chairman Ko, and holds his secret. But she died 10 days ago, where Chai Yun was also there when Yun Ju was taken hostage and killed. Chai Yun begins to realize her connection to this case. Then Tegu asks Chai Yun about the painting in Yun Ju's house, which is the result of money laundering for Chairman Ko and his group. The painting is worth 10 billion or more. Then Tegu provides evidence of recorded conversations of higher-ups who are planning to buy fighter jets. The tape he got from Chairman Ko secretly. Tegu asks Chai Yun to hold them all. But Chai Yun says that this tape alone is not enough evidence. Then Tegu asks for the head of national security to attend, Huang Yoik. If within one hour it does not come then all the hostages will be killed. On the other hand, Chairman Ku reunited with his group, but they were already visibly irritated by Chairman Ko's attitude. Then Huang Yoik requests that no one be allowed to leave before Tegu dies, and all evidence is removed. Meanwhile Team Chai Yun begins to find out who Yu Yunju really is. They only find her account transactions, but nothing to do with Tegu. Then Secretary Kong comes to tell Chai Yun that Huang Yoik is with the president, and can't meet. Chai Yun is getting annoyed that so many lives are at stake. Shortly after, Inspector On reports back to Chai Yun that the results of tracking down the deputy head of Bin's cell phone, which contains many fake names. He also finds the name of Captain Young, who is suspected of being involved in a bribery case. Then Commissioner Moon comes asking Chai Yun to buy time for the next two hours. Then Tegu calls her again, and Chai Yun is forced to lie that Huang Yoik is unreachable, while Chairman Ku is being interrogated. Tegu gets annoyed again, and presses Chai Yun until Chai Yun finally asks the names of the people involved in the case to investigate. Meanwhile, the Yu Yun Ju case will be reopened, and everyone involved in it will be reanalyzed. Then Tegu asks to speak to the Seoul Metro Police Commissioner to make sure Chairman Ko is properly interrogated, and Yun Ju's case will be reopened. The Commissioner Moon confirmed it. Then Section Chief Han receives a call informing her that the hostage video was broadcast live by Tegu. That means their statement is seen by everyone. Secretary Kong is angry, and asks all media to stop this hostage news. Then Chai Yun asks Tegu to be trusted, but Tegu pressures Chai Yun to give honest information about the head of Ko who is being interrogated, and who Wang Yoik who can't be contacted. Tegu gets annoyed then shoots Lee in the leg, and demands Chai Yun to take Huang Yoik away within the next hour, or the hostage will be killed every 10 minutes. Huang Yoik was getting annoyed. He made a new story and asked for a police military operation to be carried out immediately. Meanwhile, Chairman Ko is the mastermind behind the scenario. On the other hand, Inspector On returns to Yangji's crime scene, the location where Yunju died. There he found an old photo in front of the orphanage. Then he went to the orphanage and directly met the head of the orphanage. Inspector On finds out that Yunju is actually Min, Min Yunju, and she has an older brother. That means Yunju is Min Tegu's younger sister. Back to the negotiation room, where Huang Juik still hadn't arrived, Tegu is already very upset and plans to kill Lee. Chai Yun tried to calm his down. Then Chai Yun gets a message from Inspector On that Yunju is Tegu's sister. Meanwhile, the military police squad have found Tegu's hideout and are ready to plant a bomb. Chai Yun immediately asks for more time and begs Tegu to release the hostages, in return for his case being investigated again. Chai Yun promises to protect Tegu as a witness. But Tegu remains unconvinced, and instead sets bombs on the hostages. Chai Yun tried to keep the situation from getting any worse. But Huang Yoa continued his operation. And then Tegu's place explodes. 
Chai Yun was silent while looking at Tegu's stopped video image. Then she notices something odd about the direction of the sun in Tegu's place. She realizes that Tegu is not in Thailand, but in Korea. Chai Yun quickly asked all the teams to find out Tegu's real location. In the secret room, Huang Yo gets information that Tegu and the hostages have exploded. Then he and his group celebrated the victory. On the other hand, Inspector On finds Yun Ju's old orphanage foundation, and he finds the dead body of Captain Young. He also finds all of Tegu's hostages still alive. They finally find the location of Tegu and the hostages. However, Tegu and his group are no longer on location. Chai Yun suspected that Tegu was looking for Huang Yo Ik and his group. Chai Yun went to Secretary Kong to ask the position of Huang Yo Ik and Chairman Ku. Sure enough, Tegu suddenly came to their building. Then he headed for the secret room. The SWAT team was launched there immediately. Then it looks Tegu has a bomb attached to his body, and heads to Huang Yo Ik's room with his group. Finally Tegu comes face to face with Huang Yo Ik and his group. Then he shoots Chairman Ku dead for always talking. Tegu is already very annoyed with them, because Yun Ju has become their victim. Just as the bomb was ready to be activated, Chai Yun suddenly appeared. She tries to control that situation, and blames herself for Yun Ju's death. However, Tegu admits that he himself caused his sister's death. He's the one who told Yun Ju to steal data for his business. Then the SWAT team looks ready to target Tegu from the helicopter. Chai Yun tries to hold them back, and begs Tegu to believe her. Tegu notices Chai Yun looks like his sister. Then Tegu points his gun at Huang Yoik, so that he is shot dead by the SWAT team. Then the SWAT team starts pouring into the room, and finds Tegu's bomb trigger which turns off. Meanwhile all the higher-ups were put in the car. Chai Yun chases after them, and asks Huang Yoik not to run away. But Huang Yoik ignored her. At the end of the film, Chai Yun has found evidence of corruption of the top brass involved in Tegu's case. Then Huang Yo Ik and other the higher-ups were brought to justice. Meanwhile Chai Yun is ready to be a witness. And the film is over. Okay guys. If you like our channel, support us with subscribe and turn on the bell, like, comment, and share. So that you don't miss our next video and our channel can grow even more. See you guys.